Hi. Welcome to SKM Tutorials Hub. This is the third video of HTML series. In the previous video, we have created our first HTML web page. If you have missed that video, you can watch it from the link in the description box, or by clicking the i button. Today we will learn about some basic tags like headings, paragraphs, etc. So, let's get started. The first HTML tag is heading. Headings are important, as it provides valuable information, by highlighting important topics, about the web page. Headings are of six different sizes, H1, H2, up to H6. The size of the headings decreases from H1 to H6. So, H1 is the largest heading, and H6 is the smallest one. Each heading is displayed in bold, and a blank line is added, before and after each heading. Now let's create a web page, using these six heading tags. Here I have used all the headings, from H1 to H6. Now if I save the file, and open the web page, you can see the six headings. The first heading, that is H1 is the largest, and the last one, H6 is the smallest. As you can see, all the headings are displayed in bold, and blank spaces are added, before and after each heading. The next HTML tag is Paragraph. The Paragraph tag is used to define a block of text as a paragraph. In HTML, a paragraph is defined using P tag. All the text inside the starting P tag and ending P tag, is displayed as a paragraph. A blank line is added before and after each paragraph, just like in headings. Now if I save the file and open the web page, you can see there are two paragraphs, and blank lines are added before and after each paragraph. Let's remove all the paragraph tags, and place all the texts in one line and save the file. Now if I open the web page, you can see all the texts are displayed in the same line. Now even if we put the three sentences in three different lines, there will be no change in the web page. Here comes the need of our next HTML tag, that is BR. BR is used to give line breaks. This tag don't need an end tag, 
and hence don't have any contents. As I have said in the first video of this series, Introduction to HTML, there are some tags which don't need any end tag. BR is an example of such type. And these tags are called empty elements, or void elements. While the usual tags, which need an end tag and contents, are called non-void elements. As you can see, the three sentences have been displayed in three different lines. Now let's discuss about spacing. In HTML, even if you give multiple spaces, the web browser will consider only one space. Here I am giving multiple spaces. But when I open it in browser, only one space is displayed. So what we have to use, is ampersand nbsp, followed by a semicolon. This is an HTML entity which means, non-breaking space. We can use it multiple times as per our need. Now you can see, extra spaces have been displayed. But if we want to display the text in the web browser, exactly as written in the HTML file, then we have to use the pre-tag. The text written inside this element, is displayed exactly same as written in the HTML file. It considers all the spaces and line breaks, that we have written inside the HTML file. As you can see, the texts are displayed exactly in the same way that we have written in the HTML file. And the last tag for today is HR. The HR tag is used to display a horizontal line in the web page. It can be used to divide the web page into different sections, or to separate two paragraphs. This tag is also an empty element, like BR tag, that is it don't have an end tag. As you can see, a horizontal line has been displayed after the first line. I have created this web page about my channel, using the HTML tags that we have learnt so far. Like this you can also create a simple web page, and send the screenshot to our Facebook page. As of now, this web page is very basic, without any color or images. Also the links are not clickable. So, we will learn how to do these things, in the upcoming videos. Here I am ending this video, if you have any doubts, you can put them in the comments. Also if you are new to our channel, consider subscribing to the channel. Thank you.